Hey everybody, welcome back to a new video. So I just completed tier five of the mini game, which gives me the brand new augment for Vulcan, which is large caliber rounds. So basically what it does is your damage per shot is increased by 300%, but you shoot half as fast. So effectively you have a little bit of a damage boost, even though you're shooting half as fast, which honestly, in my opinion, isn't that bad because now you get to be a little bit more accurate because most of the time you're going to be missing a lot of your shots anyways. So now when you're shooting slower, you get to actually have more precision in your aim. I've been using this augment for quite a few games now with my brother here because because he's actually been enjoying playing j turners and honestly i've been having the most fun i've had in probably six months the last time i played this much was back during the halloween event mode when my brother and i both grinded out the elite pass because you could actually get the firebird demonic from it so it's honestly a really fun augment it's pretty darn good i've been getting a solid 2.0 kd with 800 plus score almost every single game honestly it just depends on which game you're in most of the time but this game i'm nine and two i started recording we're gonna finish the battle super fast we finished it before it even ended halfway unfortunately you get less freaking stars if you end it early but oh well if you guys are thinking about spending money in the mini game again don't forget to use creative tag taskmans and also for every single first purchase of tank ones you make you get double so most people i think are probably spending around 30 dollars to get 6,000 tank coins because you can easily finish the cyber tank mini game in one to two days if you just spam golden contracts now i have gotten three to four now and i'm probably done with the golden contracts just because i want to finish the rest on silver just to show that you can grind out a few tiers with the silver contracts in case some people are maybe not feeling very motivated to play all right so as you can see the advantages here your damage is increased by 150 percent the barrel startup time is reduced by 20 percent the barrel slowdown time is also reduced so if you don't want to take fire damage if you're fully expended your shot you can easily just wait for it to reload and then start shooting pretty fast and then your impact force is also increased by 300 percent so it's hitting the enemies a lot harder then of course the disadvantage is that your reload is increased by 100 percent so that you're shooting a little bit slower and also your recoil is increased. There's actually two other augments in the minigame. You of course have the Firebird Critical Mix and then you have the Aceta Healing Augment. Now, honestly, the Firebird Critical Mix Augment is by far one of the most consistent augments in Tanky Line. If you're looking for an augment to just do well in almost every single game, definitely use that one and not to mention you get it pretty easily it's only like one to two tiers into the minigame and for what it does 300 percent increased critical hit chance or some massive increase in critical hit chance lets you basically do an insane amount of damage even against people who have protection against firebird which is one of the main reasons i like it again it just that critical chance increase just lets it be so much more consistent in any game no matter if people have protection against you which is why i like it so much but honestly this augment it's definitely really nice. I'm not sure if Tanky's going to nerf it by the time a lot more people have it. Hopefully not. I think it's balanced enough to where it's not game breaking. So hopefully Tanky won't nerf it, but they'll probably end up nerfing all of them to begin with because that's kind of the whole system Tanky has going. They'll add a really broken augment and then of course nerf it after a few weeks. Not the end of the world. It at least changes the meta a little bit, but at the end of the day, I would rather this augment stay how it is. I also plan on making a video that goes over the fastest ways to grind out score just because one, it'll be helpful for this mini game. And secondly, it'll also be helpful for people who want to grind out Phoenix augments. And I'm hoping Tanky keeps the same mechanics for this mini game in the next one because imagine the halloween mini game with the same mechanics as this that would be so fun to grind out the different demonic skins now i imagine tanky might make it a little bit harder for the golden tier just because a lot of people with the golden tier are grinding it out in one to two days of course they are spending tank coins so it's not like they're doing it for free they are having to spend some sort of currency on it but i do think they'll probably make it a little bit more challenging for the golden tier I honestly want to grind out the rest of this in just silver contracts just because it's probably a little bit more fun to not finish it in a day or two. Now, as you guys can see with how I'm doing so far, this augment is awesome. Not to mention it's also pretty aesthetically pleasing the way it works because you're not shooting fast enough to where you're going to be missing a lot of shots because Vulcan, you, usually you're shooting so fast that you're missing half the shots that you're shooting at people. But with this decreased fire rate, you're actually able to hit most of your shots on target just because you have a little bit more time to actually focus on hitting those pellets, which makes it a more fun augment to use than most other Vulcan augments in this game. Oh my gosh, got him. Outplayed, outplayed. So I'm definitely really enjoying this augment and would highly recommend people People grind up to at least tier five i mean after that you have tier six and seven which are just the other two gt skins which at the end of the day are just skins of course you do have increased rewards for every single tier you bump up but honestly if you are only looking to grind free to play tier five is definitely the way to go and you have a full month left in the mini game if you're looking for actual grinding out 
definitely go to tier five. I was lucky to have 3,500 tank ones left over. So I was able to just grind out three of the golden passes, three to four, one of the cheap ones. And then I obviously bought three more of the other ones, but still honestly, such good value for just spending a few thousand tank coins. What else is there to spend tank coins on really other than some of the other event passes, I guess you can get, but the amount of rewards you get for every single tier far outweighs the cost of it. Like you're spending about a thousand tank coins per 10 spins and you get to each tier after about 10 to 15 spins and every single spin you're getting decent rewards. Yeah, that's the augment. Really, really fun, large caliber for Vulcan. I would highly recommend grinding out. And of course, if you're gonna spend money on the mini game, don't forget to use credit tag Taspins. And yeah, that's the augment. Definitely let me know how you think about it in the comments down below. Don't forget to use credit tag Taspins. See you in a future video. Peace out everyone.